Hello there everyone and welcome to my very next Let's Play here on this Let's Play channel. In this uh, Let's Play, we are going to be looking over another Banjo-Kazooie ROM hack. And this is one that is called Banjo 3E. This is a ROM hack that was made by a YouTube user called Jackson G13. Oh, I forgot that I was using an N64 controller now. I was uh, tapping on the keyboard as if I was still using that. Okay, so I guess that explains why we heard uh, double uh, snoring. Yeah, so the title screen here has uh, been changed slightly. So, yeah, this is... This is basically just another custom Banjo-Kazooie game. And uh, now I'm going to go ahead and uh, try it out for the first time. Okay, so... Okay, the... Uh... Oh, maybe it was because I was in this area right here where the, uh... the controllers don't work. All right, so yeah, I I did try to use the the whoa, I can actually oh, I guess it's just a one way. Yeah, I did uh, actually try to uh, get it patched in the normal way, but I couldn't figure it out how to do it. And there are like all sorts of different uh, capabilities. And it appears that most of the uh, The moves are uh, pre-learned, although not the eggs, though. Okay, so I guess I guess there's nothing new to learn. So may as well uh, speak uh, with bottles here. Hey guys, thank goodness you finally came out. I've got some horrible news. By the looks of this place, I'm sure it's gotta be bizarre. What happened here, bottles? Well, Grunty came back from the dead, and she has haunted this place. Now she roams around as a goose. Pa, we can take care of her. She is only a ghost after all. But wait, there is more. Grunty has gotten a hold of the Jiggies again, and is going to use its power to give her a body again. Not if we can stop her. Do you know where she went, Bottle Boy? She has built a museum behind of her lair. She most likely is at the top in her office. All right then. Come on, Banjo. I've waited three years for another adventure. It's time for another one. Yeah, and since we've got so many moves that Jam Jars taught us, we should be just fine. But there is something I forgot to mention. Vincent. What now, Bottle Breath? While you guys were asleep, Grunty casted a spell on you that made you guys lose your abilities. You've got to be kidding me. I worked so hard getting those moves. Fortunately, since Grunty was just a ghost, her powers were not as strong as she thought, so the only moves you lost were the ones my brother taught you. There goes splitting up. It's better than nothing, Kazooie. Let's be off now. Thanks, Bottles. No problem, guys. Well, I gotta go home now. The missus has dinner ready for me, and I don't want to miss it. Oh, uh, yeah, so, uh, yeah, there were a few uh, spelling errors. Yeah, because uh, mention was spelled wrong. So, yeah, it, it appears that this is like a direct sequel to Banjo uh, Tooie. And there was actually an explanation for uh, what happened. Okay, so there's this door right here. I'm guessing we need to find a way to open it. So we probably won't be able to do that until much later in uh, the game. Okay, so yeah, that was quite clever that uh, Jackson 
G13 actually came up with a uh, solution to explain as to why we can't use any of the abilities from uh, Banjo-Tooie since this is using the engine from uh, Banjo-Kazooie. And you know that that of course means that we don't have the moves from uh, Banjo Tooie. Just came down here to see what was in here. Oh, it, is it me or did the uh, the head icons for the uh, the honey pieces update? I think there are a couple of custom head icons that are used in uh, this game. And also, what was that about? Uh, Three years for another game? Uh, like, what point in time in this... In history is this game supposed to take place in? Is this like... Like, maybe sometime after, uh... Banjo-Tooie? You know, like, three years after Banjo-Tooie? Has Nuts and Bolts happened yet? You know, just... Quite a lot of questions. But it's great that... This time I went... This time around, we don't even have to uh, worry about learning any of the abilities, unlike in most ROM hacks, like uh, Banjo Dreamy, for example. So yeah, I do believe that this ROM does give us uh, actual jiggies, unlike in uh, Banjo Dreamy. So that's great that we get another uh, Banjo Kazooie ROM hack. Well, we get a Banjo Kazooie ROM hack that has actual jiggies. Alright, so, there's Gruntilda's lair. Oh my... Whoa, that was odd. Just... I mean, look at that. Oh, wow. Just fell right through. That's kind of misleading for the bridge to just kind of glitch out like that. I'm not sure if Jackson is aware, but if he's watching this, that's, that's a good note. Anyway, uh, I wasn't able to figure out how to get the, uh, the patch to work, but, uh, thankfully, uh, Jackson was able to give me a, uh, a pre-patched, uh, file, so I'd like to thank him for that, so I can actually play this, uh, this game. I'm not having very much luck with getting the patches on a number of ROM hacks, uh, set up, although I was fortunate enough to find some pre-patches. Not quite sure why he doesn't have the pre-patch file out in public, and he just... Is it me, or did the feathers change, uh... Change their jingle for when you pick them up? I mean, it's good that he's actually adding some, uh... New elements to, uh... To this game, rather than keeping most of the old elements. Alright, so I found five of the empty honeycomb pieces so far. So there is one more to go. Oh, and I bet it's up right here where we found the first cheat. Oh, I found it. This was where we found the first Cheeto page in uh, Banjo Tooie. All right, so now we have six units of health. Yeah, I've noticed that the uh, the bridge to Gruntilda's lair appears to be broken, but it also appears to be fixed. Like, I'll go ahead and uh, show you. I mean, look, there's the bridge right there, but we also see the bridge hanging down. And also, the the chin of the lair has been fixed. Alright, so obviously we can't enter the lair from the, uh, from the original entrance, as it is blocked off. I wonder, can I fly to the top? No, I guess, I guess not. Yeah, I was quite disappointed the first time I played Banjo-Tooie, where I couldn't, uh... Where I wasn't able to uh, fly to the top of the layer. Okay, so it appears here that... That I can't... Uh, oh my... Um, well, I can't fly up all the way. Maybe there's a, another fly pad around here. Although, even if I do find another fly pad, I don't think that I will be able to... Uh, just fly up there and- Oh! Oh, I don't need to use a fly pad. Alright, so basically, I've seen that, uh...
that there basically was no way to return to the original area. I mean, I mean, look at this. We can actually see quite, through quite a lot of walls now. Oh, there is another fly pad up here. Well, I'm gonna press down on this switch. And it opens up this gate just as I assumed that it would. Oh, wait a minute. I think I figured... Uh, okay, hold on. Can I get... Oh, I can get over there. And there, there's some feathers here. So I guess that the fly pad is what we use to fly back to Spiral Mountain. That's pretty cool. All right, so now we are entering here. Is oh, I see. It's it's the first cutscene of the game. Now that I finally got all the jiggies in my grasp, I will soon have a body once again, and finally, after three years, get my revenge with that stupid bear and bird. They will never get to me in time, thanks to this massive museum I built. All right, I'm tired of being in this ghostly form. It's time for the machine to start the process. Jiggy Life Given 2.0 Cover. I love that name. Wow, so Jackson actually managed to create a custom, uh, a, a custom cutscene. I've also noticed that he did his best to, uh, to actually import Grunty's uh, skeletal head icon from uh, Banjo Tooby into the game. I mean, he didn't really do that good of a job, but he did his best. So I'll give him credit for that. So, yeah, the hub world of this game is, uh, is a museum. To enter the world, you must use the power of the Jiggies to power up the generator and open the exhibit. Uh, I don't think we found any of those yet. I think I saw one on top of the Grunty statue. Come back when you found it. Oh, wait, no. Yeah, I didn't mean to. Hey, uh. Yeah, they. No, I don't want it. Gee, I... Just, okay, I made it out. That was just quite bizarre. Um, are we gonna get any info information about the doors? Wow. Listen to that sound. Alright. So here is a Grunty statue, and there is a Jiggy. Hey, remember me? It's Mr. Jiggy. Now go find one of the generators. The good old jingle. I certainly like the good old jingle. All right. We got the first jigsaw piece, Goggle Boy. Great! To add a jiggy to the generator, press A. If you don't want to use it, any jigsaw pieces, press B to leave. I remember kidnapping your sister and watching you save her. Ah, the good old times. That's it! The picture's complete, and the door to Groovy Grove is open! That generator was just a test. The others will be the end for you. Yeah, I've noticed that Grunty is not rhyming in this game. I guess it could be based around how in uh, Banjo-Tooie, she didn't rhyme uh, throughout most of the game since uh, her sister threatened not to help her if she didn't stop her rhyming. Although she resumed rhyming in uh, Banjo uh, Kazooie Nuts and Bolts. Yeah, I see that he also managed to get uh, the frogs to act as enemies now. Yeah, I think the music that's playing here is uh, 
a remix of music from uh, Banjo Kazooie Grunty's Revenge. I'm not quite sure exactly what music it's from. I, I've never played Grunty's Revenge, by the way. I've never had a. Uh... Oh, I wonder why Balls' molehill is up here. Need to get somewhere faster? Try using these running shoes. They should help you. Thanks, Bottles. Okay, well. There's that. Oh, wait. I can't climb the tree? But I thought I had all the old moves. I guess this tree is just not climbable. Can you do that? Take away the climbing ability of a tree? Oh, I see. You probably need to ground pound on this. Or beak bust on it. Alright. Quick jingle. Just wanted to see if I could pound on it again. I think that they have the AI of the, uh, the Smashable Hut from, uh, from Mumbo's Mountain. Alright, so I apparently could not climb up any of those trees, apparently. I'm not quite sure why, though. You know, if you gave the, uh, the items some new, uh, sound effects... What about, uh, oh, so I can climb up things. I just could not climb up. Uh, come on. How do I do this? How do I do this? I'm trying to get to the top, but the game won't let me. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I also managed to get the, uh, the talking head icon from, uh, Banjo-Tooie into, uh, a Banjo-Kazooie ROM hack. Did a lot better than, uh, with Grunty. There really isn't a lot that is shown in this area right here. It's just, like, a big open field with barely anything. Okay, so there we go. That's probably how you're supposed to flip up to get on top of the trees. And we just saved the purple Jinjo. I always thought that it was a pink Jinjo, but there are no pink Jinjos in Banjo-Tooie. So I'm pretty sure it's actually purple and not pink. What do you guys think? Uh, anyway, I, I think I was uh, talking about this, but I forgot. Um, you know, when it came to the uh, the new jingles in the game, couldn't uh, couldn't Jackson have used maybe the uh, the the beta jingle for the eggs? You know, where they go do 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 do. I really like that sound. Although it probably can get annoying after a while, which is probably why they changed it. Alright, so we have retextures of the Tinker Ants, or termites actually, who return to their original colors when they get defeated. I released a monster! Yeah, I think the order of what comes out of each of those smashable huts. Now, boxes is pretty much always the same. It's like, no matter what order you do them in, they're always gonna have the same order of items. You're always gonna get notes first, then eggs, then a grumbling, then the green Jinjo, then a life, then the Jiggy. Is that gonna be the same case again here? It has been so far. I think that the frogs have the AI of the flippets from, uh, Bubble Glue Swamp. That was such a tiny jiggy. 
and also a bit too easy, I have to say. Well, I think I've recorded enough for uh, this episode. I'll see you guys in episode two, so bye-bye. <laughs>